everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to the story behind the photo. We're here with the delightful London friend, Mr. Tim Wallace. How are you? How's very my well, accent? thank you. Um, slightly dodgy, to be honest. Yeah, really dodgy. My American's probably not very good. All right, so we're going to talk about your favorite photo or uh, just, you know, one of your photos that took a lot of work or the story behind one of your favorite photos. What do you got for us? Probably be um, a super yacht I shot a little while back. Um, and it's probably one that sticks in my head because it was probably one of the technically the most difficult things I did. Okay. And it was a brochure basically for a super yacht, 83 million pound range of yachts called Genevieve. Um, my job to produce the brochure that sells the yachts, I think there was 12 to sell, so it's my job to basically sell it. Okay. Um, and uh, it was supported by Hasselblad, it was quite a big shoot. Hasselblad sent support staff, Profoto sent support staff with it, there was helicopters involved, there was all sorts of things involved. Oh and one of the shots that I wanted to get was of the model on the back of the yacht, with the yacht against the sun, and I'm shooting on a, a tender which is a small boat. So we're literally bobbing up and down behind the yacht and I'm trying to get the captain to use the bow thrusters to move the yacht so that the sun is coming straight through towards into the lens mm -hmm. and then light the model on the back. And, um, and actually the support guy said, you can't do that, it's impossible. You're just not going to be able to do it, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And I, thought, I just want to give it a go, let's just try it because I think it could be like a killer shot. And we, we basically bowing up and down. The Hasselblad couldn't get focus because it's like just going because it's just straight into the sun. Yeah. It's intensely bright. It's one o'clock. It's intense sun. It's, it's shot out at sea um, off Palma and it's just absolutely horrendously bright. So it's, I think it's about eight hundredth of a second uh, F16 and I'm using a Profoto twin head, which is it's basically one head but it has two leads coming off it. So, oh, so it goes into two battery packs. Okay. So basically each battery pack is 1200 watts, but with a twin head, you can connect to two battery packs. So you get 2400 watt power, which is a lot oh, for yeah. one light. And there's a magnum dish attached to that, which is a big reflective dish that pushes light forward. And I've got one of the galley stewardesses next to me. She's holding, her job is to hold this thing yeah. and point it straight at the model. Mm -hmm. And technically, it shouldn't have worked. It really shouldn't have worked, but it worked and it balanced lovely. I, I can't explain it, but it was worth trying. It's like anything. Sometimes something might not appear to work, but if you try it, you find out and sometimes you get surprised because it defeats the law of light in a way, but it works. Wow. And when this light went off, it was on full power and you could literally smell it and hear the pop. Um, and it's probably my favourite shot because it's just technically difficult. It shouldn't have worked, but it worked. So yeah. it's a evidence that you should try things, really. Wow, that's awesome. So do you have any... Uh, uh, you say that you live out in the wilderness. I mean, you're out in the middle of... I'm not out the in the wilderness. I'm on the edge of the countryside. The okay. So I'm pretty... I'm not remote. I mean, okay. in America, remote is like, you know, I live in Death Valley. Or so I don't live in, you know... There <laughs> okay. is, like, people okay. near. Yeah. Do you, do you have any photos that you know are a little bit more personal to you? That that do you have anything that's just kind of your favorite photo that means something back home and your person? I mean, because you take all these amazing pictures of everything luxury you can think of, but is there a photo you can think of that's kind of special and dear to your heart? Um, I tend to shoot. I I tend to shoot stuff for myself when I travel, mm -hmm. um, and I shoot some. I've I've shot a few images when the light's right, when I've been driving back home. Because mm -hmm. where I am, I'm quite elevated. So there's sort of country roads that take me up to near the wooded area now where I live. And you can look back down across the valley and it's rolling, sweeping mm -hmm. English. It's very quintessentially English. Sure. And on a summer's evening, when you get the light just right and you've got the sharp shadows of the trees and everything's rolling and down, it's like 50 miles of, yeah, I've done some of those before. Oh. Just stopped and thought, you know, that's really nice. I'll just shoot that. Oh. Well, we're very grateful that you spent some time with us again amidst your very busy okay. schedule. <laughs> but tell us where we can find your work. Um, you can find my videos on Kelby One and you can find my commercial site at ambientlife.co.uk. Ambientlife.co.uk. .co.uk. All right, got it. Well, Tim, thank you so much for sharing. Pleasure.